fully aware that I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I am so effing tired of the amount of emotional labor that comes with dating black men. I am so tired of the lack of commitment, the lack of support, the lack of encouragement, the lack of money. Like, I don't know what to do from this point on, but I can tell you one thing. My interest in dating another black man is like 1% at this point. They want us to be ride or dies until they get their shit together. And then they don't want to support us in return. They don't want to commit to us. They don't want to marry us. But then they want all the benefits of being a husband without actually proposing to us. I need someone who's intentional in every single aspect. What up, team? Well, this young lady called me out because she said all black men. And as a delegate of the black race, <laughs> I felt the need to come and make this video and share it with you guys. So what I always see is women that want to make a rant specifically aimed at one individual or maybe two individual in her case uh they always come on here and blame all black men for their troubles you know with zero accountability for themselves you know i was always told there was three sides to every story there's your side there's my side and then there's the truth right we'll never hear the truth right we'll hear her emotional side because now she's probably been with uh, a couple of black men and those relationships failed as you can see she has a black son in the back seat so that means she's probably a single mom and she's probably you know she's probably emotionally connected to the to the kid's father and this is where this frustration is probably building from because somebody else probably started dating her after she broke up with with her you know her son's father and then this black man didn't work out so now here is her emotional outburst, blaming all black men for her troubles. Now she brings up a couple of, of, of uh, interesting points about, about money being one of the things. Uh, and you know, she's emotionally frustrated because of the lack of support that she receives from black men. Now, a lot of times what it is, is a lot of these women get connected to one guy in particular and that guy will not commit to them and that's when you see them come on here and say all black men are bad which is crazy it is insane the amount of good black men that are in this society that get overlooked because you know women have a certain criteria that they use to judge men and it's not logical it's not logic based a lot of it has to do with popularity has to do with looks has to do with financial standings you know a lot of black men are average guys you know, that doesn't make them bad. But those men are not being checked for. Those men are not being counted in this equation when a woman comes on here and say all black men. Because they're talking about a small segment of black men that get all the women. <laughs> now, I think this message is aimed at one individual in particular. You know, she mentions that, you know, nobody that all black men won't commit, right? That... All black men are not encouraging. They're not supporting. Uh, she also said something about the lack of money. You know, uh, they all. She also said that black men want to be having husband treatment without the commitment and without marriage, right? So I think she's a little jaded, and she's aiming this at one person. But you know, to keep herself safe, she's being very general but she needs to be specific because that's not what i see in my everyday life i know a lot of black men i know a lot of great black men i know a lot of black men who are married who have great wives who have great families and the statistics are wrong you know a lot of people who who uh who come on here you know they bring their own individual biases they bring their own individual experience without saying that look i lack accountability I put up with a lot of mess. I put up with a lot of red flags. I give a lot of different chances to people, to the same people. I commit to the wrong people. I don't use logic when I make decisions. You know, I, I, I had a child out of wedlock, you know, and the father did not stick around. And here I am chasing him around. And, you know, there's certain guys that don't fit my criteria that I'll never look at. You know, there's certain guys that don't look 
as good as me, so I won't consider them. There's certain guys that don't particularly fit a financial bracket that I'm looking for, so I won't even look at them. Like, th th none of that is being said when she's making these broad general statements about black men in particular. Because I know a lot of successful black men who are, you know, single. Not only that, I know a lot of successful black men who have uh, uh, a lot of great relationships with black women. You know, black men prefer black women. Black women prefer black men. But then you have these ladies that come on here and they paint us with this broad stroke about how terrible we are. You know, there's not going to be any change unless you look inwards and fix the common denominator. And to me, the common denominator is her. But love to hear your thoughts, guys. What do you think about this lady's rant? Uh, leave it in the comments. See you guys on the next one. Peace.